Today we're going to be talking about how to score an outdoor archery target and some of the scoring procedures that you need to know if you're going to be going to your very first tournament. So to jump right into it, what we have right here is a 122 centimeter target. This is what Olympic recurve style archers are going to be shooting at 70 meters as well as barebow archers, you guys are going to be shooting these at 50 meters. Compound archers, you will shoot an 80 centimeter target right here, so you can see it for size comparison. Compound archers will shoot this target at 50 meters. Now, if you're shooting an Olympic recurve, you're going to have four people in your scoring group and all four people will shoot six arrows each at the same target face so you'll have a bunch of arrows in here and when you're calling those arrows you're going to identify whose arrows is whose by the the knock and the fletching combination or the initials that are on the arrow shaft so just keep that in mind um, and everyone in that scoring four person scoring group will have a different job one person will be calling two people will be writing and the fourth person is going to be kind of just helping out compound archers you will get your own target. There's going to be four of these on the target face and you'll get that design which position you're going to shoot is either A, B, C, or D and you'll get that at the beginning of the tournament on your scorecard and it'll say you know your name, your target assignment, and then A, B, C, or D and that'll tell you which target you're going to shoot as well as the order you're going to be shooting. Scoring these targets is really straightforward. The center ring here is worth 10 points. Inside that 10 ring, there is an X ring. The X ring is still just worth 10 points. But let's say uh, you and another shooter both shoot a 300 and you have um, you know, more Xs than they do, you're gonna win, win that tiebreaker because of your X count. The next ring out, which is the rest of this gold area, is nine points. And then you have the red, which is eight and seven. Blue area here is divided into the six and the five. And then you have four, three, two, one. And any arrow that lands outside of the one ring is zero. Compound is gonna be scored exactly the same. The only difference is the compound target only goes out to the five ring. So anything outside the five ring is worth zero points. When you're at a tournament, don't touch the target face or the arrow shafts until all the arrows have been called and scored. That's because if you, you know, touch an arrow shaft or the target face, that can uh, adjust where a line call is made. If an arrow shaft is touching the line of the higher scoring value, that arrow gets scored as a higher scoring value. So let's say this arrow right here is touching the line that's between the eight and the nine ring that arrow would be scored nine. But there, there are a lot of close calls where it, that arrow shaft is right there and it's hard to see if that arrow is right on the line or there's a little space between the arrow shaft and the line. So if you bend that arrow by accident, um, you can affect the way that arrow would be scored. If we don't wanna do that, don't touch the arrow shaft or the, the target until everything's been scored. Now, if you did have an arrow at a tournament and there is a disagreement um, not not really like a confrontational disagreement but one person thinks you know that arrow is a nine other person thinks that's an eight what you can do it's really easy you score all the other arrows and then you'll you raise your hand you'll wave over one of the officials they'll come over and they'll make a final judgment on that arrow it's really easy they'll they have magnifying glass flashlight everything that they need to make a, an accurate call on that arrow. So let's say you're at the tournament and you're the person who's in charge of calling the arrows. What you wanna make sure is that the people with the scorecards have the scorecards in the same order and you're calling them in the order that they have them listed. So, you know, whoever is the first person, you're calling the arrows first and everyone's writing them down the same way. Just wanna make sure that you're clear on that. And you're gonna call your the arrows values out from highest to lowest, so you'll start with the tens, the nines, and the eights, and then work your way out, and then you go to the next person. Now, and the last thing that you're gonna do before you pull your arrows uh, is you're gonna mark them with a, a pen. You're gonna put two marks on either side of the arrow shaft, and what that does is 
is if there is a pass through or a bounce out, which is not super likely at an outdoor tournament, but it's possible. What that does is it helps the officials know that uh, where that arrow hit and then you can receive that score of the unmarked arrow. Another procedural thing to keep in mind is let's say you were to miss an arrow, you know, you let your group know, uh, you know, you have five arrows in the target, you're missing one, tell them that you shot a miss, you can look for it after you're done scoring, but if you're not able to find it, make sure you tell one of the judges nearby that you can't find one of your arrows because they, if you were to, on the next end, shoot six arrows, all six hit, and then there's a, a missed arrow that is found and it's yours, then that could uh, call into question whether or not that miss happened this current end or the one before. All right, everyone, now you know the basics of keeping score. You're ready to keep score at home just to see how you're improving and how you're doing or shoot your very first tournament. So have fun out there. We're excited that there are archery tournaments starting to happen again. So sign up for one in your area. Be safe and have fun.